Today we have um, set seven nine three zero. The the Halo is the name of it. I don't know if they call it Bounty Hunter Assault Ship or something like that is the official name, but the actual name of the ship is um, the actual name of the ship is the Halo. So um yeah, so it's a really nice set. It was whoa. Oh darn it, that just broke. Um but well the retail price was I don't know, like fifty four um like fifty five dollars or something. I don't know because I got it for my birthday. I mean because because isn't the word. Um um so we get yeah it's pretty we got a pretty good supply we get four minifigs a lot of them are exclusive one of them is like one of my favorite characters ever in the Clone Wars and uh, yeah I think two of them may be exclusive maybe I think or seeing might be in another set but um yeah so let's get to um. <coughs> I'm sorry, um, but let's get to the close-up right now. So the first minifigure um, is Aura Singh. It's a pretty cool minifig. The only annoying thing is, look. Wait. Okay, that time it didn't do it as easy. But the hair always pops off super easy. Look, if I hold it by the hair... She's probably just acting good on tape, but normally it always just falls off and falls off. And this minifigure does have green eyes, like Aura Singh actually does. She has two short blasters, that orange jumpsuit that she always wears. She has all that gear. She's ready to go, and she has that weird pale skin. And, here, uh, and I forgot to show you. Here's the instruction manual. They don't show any of the other minifigs on it. Which they should have done, I think, in this set. Um, is that they should have added a little area where the minifigs can hang out. I mean, there, there's just nowhere. I mean, there's only the prison cell, and I don't think that they would want to hang out in the prison cell. And then there's the cockpit. That's the only place that you can place minifigs. Um, yeah, so. Okay, so now let's get to the IG-88. No, not IG-88. It's just like an assassin droid. Um, just the basic assassin droid head. You know, you kind of just slip down there. And just a black droid body and a rifle. And he's all black instead of... Actually, these... Does not call it that on the box, but they're actually called IG-86. Um, IG-86 is the known uh, one for the black ones. IG-88 is for the white ones, and then one specific one that is on this Bounty Squad team, but they did not include it in the set, which is okay, um, is the, um, uh, is the, whatchamacallit, um, Helios 3D is the actual name of one of the IG-88 droids that is part of this squad. They did not, al they also did not include, um, like, Robo Nino, and some of the other ones, but yeah, there's some. There's a lot. Well, not a lot. Well, there's a lot in the set that's missing, but it's a really good set. I love this set. Uh, but yeah. So then next mini. See, like her hair just popped off when I set her down. Okay. Um. Next mini fig. I'm not gonna do him yet. I'm gonna save the best for last. Um. Suji. 
She's like their pilot. I remember her. Then she has like that pink ponytail on the back. She is a um, Zabrak, or I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what um, Savage, Opress, and Darth Maul are. They are Zabraks. I don't know if the, but she's like a female Zabrak, pretty much. She has all that crusted face, and she has she's she has two daggers. Um, she has two daggers and. A lot of pink lipstick and pink eyebrows. Um, now I'm gonna get to Embo. Super cool. He has that bowcaster. He has his helmet that he always throws and uses to def deflect. Um, he has that. I think they're called Cayuzos. Um, then he has that um, epaulet. Um, he has a chest guard, then he has that, um, little, like, robe-ish kind of thing. Oh, and he does have back head printing there. As you can see, so, we just put them back together, and then move them away. Just to the side. Um, and this set does come with number bags. It comes with three. Let me show you the front page here. Um, it shows what they um, it's for. The first part is for the the cockpit um, and all the minifigs. Um, the second part is for just the the main part of the ship. Then second, the, the third bag is for just the the generator things, the power. Now I'm going to be very fragile with this set because this set does come apart easily. It does not have a lot of sturdy. And I did come with some incorrect pieces in this set. So, yeah, so pretty much just pretty cool. This just goes like that. That slides. Let me show you this right now, which is really cool. Um, they, it, it comes with, and in there you can kind of see the mechanism. Let me try to, um, so, let's see, in there, see in that little, um, hole there, it's like this, a couple Lego Technic pieces, and then when you do this, both wings switch, and it makes the, the back part slide but that's where the thing is I'm it, it it's like impossible to do this one thing there it's really weird maybe I did something wrong but yeah um so yeah then so these can pop off that's how it works then if you kind of just do that, that, it won't do that, you have to fully put it in the handle. But that's pretty much just the overlook of one of the generator things. Comes with some pretty rare pieces like this. And basically there's just this long line through the middle. Um, yeah, then you just kind of do that. I'm gonna try to see if I can show you more of the line here. See, look, there, that's part, like, see? So you just kind of slip that in there, and you just kind of fit this all together. Um, yeah, it's falling apart right now. But it has all these, all these flip things, and it has the energy in there, and that's not supposed to be there. I just fell. Oh. Oh gosh, are you serious? Here, I'm just gonna refix that right. No, okay, never mind then. Um so then we have the cockpit. We have some controls in there. We have some guns on the front. Um, a lot of green on this set. Then up there we can store a gun, but I had to use that gun on the minifig. Up in there, on the top of the cockpit there. In there. 
um, there's like some spots where you can store it then that kind of just goes like that then in here is probably one of the best parts of the set I just do that so that it can be even um, in my opinion is the one of the best parts of the set um, these things here on the side flip forward on both sides and yes th this set it does kind of fall apart a lot so you have to be very fragile with it so then you can kind of you're gonna just slip sand it in there you do have to take the their thing off or whatever then some of the minifig you might have to take off you have, some of them you even have to just take apart completely you sand it fit in there pretty well I maybe even be able to fit his bag in there. Yes, I can. Yep. Wow, so it's going to fit pretty well. Now, let me get to that main part um, that I wanted to show you. So we have the, the container, we have the bin, then we just have this really cool control panel, and it's like you put it on there, and inside is... Jedi Holocron. If you can remember, this is in some of the Lego Club magazines. Um, like the little comics inside of them. They have like stories. And the this pack of bounty hunters is trying to get them. Though what would have made it great is if they had some more minifigs in here. Like they had like the whole group from that com like this is supposed to be based on that comic thing. The comic strip. Oh yeah, and back here we have some guns like that are posable. But they should have had it like the comic thing when Cad Bane and Bosk were there too. That would have made it just like the perfect set. Then we just have these two. here. Look, I'm gonna take these off and show you a little bit of that. Um, so you kind of just get two of these things on the sides. So. Ah, I'm just gonna try to get that in there. So we have a little bit of the action. Pretty much it kind of just turns and slides and yeah. Um, so the back view of it that, as you can see it kind of just slides forward when it's flying. And yes, that does happen a lot too. So, that concludes it. For this 2012, um, uh, it's my, this is one of my, my first October, well, my second October set review. This one was my first, I forgot to mention that. Go first October set review! It's actually my first review in October, not even my first set review. So, it's my first set, yeah, just first set review.